What's up guys and welcome to season one of Apex Legends. Uh, that's right, baby. It is finally here. The battle pass was just added in a few moments ago and uh, dude, it, it feels like we've been waiting forever, but uh, the game's only been out for six weeks. Like we didn't even know this game was a thing six weeks and like three days ago. And now we already have the battle pass, which is pretty cool. So uh, shout out to the devs on that, and uh, let's uh, let's get into it. So not only do we have that battle pass, we've also got the new character here, Octane, a high speed daredevil. It says that's kind of interesting. Um, is he just is he just free? Unlock legends? Ah, you gotta pay credits for him. Not gonna lie, I kind of expected that. Seven hundred and fifty apex credits. I mean, it, it could be worse. It's seven dollars and fifty cents. I feel like there are worse ways to spend your money in this game. Just take a look in the store for like $18 weapon skins. But um, yeah, so let's take a look at some of his, his legendaries here. We've got El Diablo. Oh, bro, that looks pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That, that looks good. Speed Demon. Okay, kind of interesting. Victory Lap, where it turns him into kind of like a, a racer. And then Gold Rush. Ooh, he's all golden and stuff. I feel like El Diablo is the best, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unlock that. We don't have enough, enough crafting metals though okay well we're gonna have to have to open some packs get some crafting metals and see if we can get that because that does look pretty good anyway let's keep moving on we're gonna check out the battle pass here so this is it this is what we've been waiting for we already saw a sneak peek of it yesterday if you guys missed that video make sure you guys check it out but on their website they had all the rewards you can see them down there at the bottom so at tier one you get the three character skins which to be honest i'm still really disappointed with like these just they don't look very good uh, tier 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way through. You've got all the way to tier 110. Oh, there's a bonus here. Interesting. I didn't know that. Level 110 gets you that badge. And it also gets you the Golden Idol Havoc. We didn't know about this yesterday, dude. We knew you got to, to you know, tier 100 or level 100 to be able to get the Silver Storm. But you can get the Golden Idol if you get to tier 110 and it's reactive so you guys can see level one is one kill level two is three kills and level three is five kills kind of the same as uh, as the silver storm here okay so that's nice there is something a, a little bit different there but when i'm taking a look through here uh bonus point boost and xp and stuff it all pretty much looks the same and uh i mean i'm i'm gonna be honest i feel like it's it's a little bit of a disappointment i can't be too mad because it is a brand new game. It's their first battle pass. I don't know. We may talk about that a little bit more towards the end of this video, but uh, let's let's go ahead and buy the battle pass. So we've got two things we can buy here. You can either go straight up 950 Apex coins, start at level one, work your way up, or you can get the bundle, which gives you the whole battle pass plus 25 levels. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're, we're going to try to unlock as much as we possibly can. So that looks pretty good. Battle pass level 26. Nice. That was that was easy. Can you buy additional levels? Ah, you can buy levels. Buy battle pass level. Oh, so we can go all the way to the max, bro. I, I got to check it out. I want to see everything. I want to go through. I want to I want to make sure we have everything. I want to show you guys everything. Be able to get the weapon skins and stuff like that, bro. This is going to be expensive. Battle pass levels above 100 may not be purchased. Okay. So you can buy your way all the way all the way to 100. The bonus stuff you're going to have to earn by getting to level 110. So, uh, 11,100 Apex credits. We're going to go ahead and buy it. $111. Holy cow, dude. That is absolutely insane. But uh, that's that's a lot of loot. I mean, it's it's nothing to be scoffed at. I'm, I like that Havoc skin. It, I just don't really like the Havoc, though. So you guys can see here, we do have something for pretty much every character in the game. We're going to be unlocking frames. Oh, look at that. It shows you what season it's from. That's kind of cool. So we're going to unlock frames and trackers and all kinds of stuff like that from these guys. It's opening season. Let's do this, brothers. <laughs> I like that. That's kind of cool. So you guys can see a lot of them are kind of themed around this first opening season. You guys can see we've got uh, Revolutionary here again, dude. I'm, I'm disappointed. That is just not a very good looking skin. I feel like we could have done way better. It doesn't have to be like Fortnite crazy in your face, wild colors and stuff like that. But I just, I feel like they could have done some cool ones that were themed with the, 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 you know, theme of the battle pass. So like they could have had a bloodhound that was covered in like bone armor and stuff. They could have had somebody in a ghillie suit. They could have had somebody as like some sort of a, an old school hunter gatherer. It all would have fit with this kind of like, you know, intense, more realistic kind of tribal type theme, but uh, it, it would have been better than, than something like this or this. 
or this. I mean, I, I, I don't know, dude. I just, I, I feel like they lack a little bit of creativity, a little bit of originality. Again, it's like, it's, it's the first season, so you, you can't expect too much. You know, I, I don't think the devs were ever expecting this game to be as big as it was, and I, I don't think they were necessarily prepared. But, I mean, they, they were planning on having the, the, you know, first season come out at this point in time. It's not like they released it early. I just, I, I feel like they're a little bit... You know, they, they leave some left to be desired. Or like if you if you look at like some of the trackers and stuff, like 40% of this pass is either XP boosts, trackers, or badges for your like little calling card here, your little whatever you want to call it. And, and like, you know, even these trackers, like season one wins, you're going to use that during season one, sure. But then like when we're in season two, four, five, six, whatever else, who's actually going to be using season one counters that aren't going up anymore? You know what I mean? So th those become kind of irrelevant. These skins kind of aren't really very good. I, I don't think people are going to use them that often. A lot of the weapon skins themselves aren't very good. I don't know. I, I feel like there, there could have been, there could have been a lot more to it. I mean, some of these weapon skins just like, dude, I have this. Why would I use this fall harvest? Not bad. But when you look at some of these up here, like why are we not getting more crazy ones like this? Obviously the silver storm, is uh, is an exception, but uh, I don't know. I say I, I feel like I feel like we kind of could have had more. Oh, we've also got to we've got to do our uh, our what's it called? Our packs. You get packs throughout the the battle pass. So we've got twelve apex packs here. We'll see what happens. Now, technically, you, I think you're guaranteed certain rarities and stuff, but I have most of the stuff in the game, so I I don't know. I mean, this this is cool. So we got double crafting materials there, and then a legendary skin for Pathfinder. This is gonna guarantee an epic or better, I'm assuming. Okay, so these are the, the Apex packs that you unlock as you go throughout the campaign. Ooh, look at that one for Octane, that's not bad. We're gonna keep going here. This, this should be def decent. Got a normal Apex pack here. We're gonna get three whites, all commons, all right. I don't think they added in anything else uh, to like the loot pool, you know what I mean? I think we're gonna unlock some of the new stuff for Octane and some of the old stuff we didn't have unlocked for the other, you know, older characters and weapon skins and stuff, but I don't think there's anything new. Uh, so if you guys have most of the stuff, probably not gonna be all that much exciting, but earning these, obviously being guaranteed legendaries and, and rares and stuff like that is gonna be really useful. Ooh, look at this, double rare, what do we got? Rare lifeline, rare banner pose, that's not bad. Okay, getting some more stat trackers and stuff. Keep on going through here. But yeah, overall, man, like I, I, I don't know. I, I'm a little bit disappointed in it. I, I, I can't lie to you guys. I am a little bit disappointed. I feel like it could have been better. I feel like this battle pass is not up to par with what we kind of expect out of battle passes at this point. Um, it's not a bad deal. You know, you think about it, it's $9.50. You have the opportunity to earn all those Apex credits back so you can buy the battle pass next season. You get 12 Apex packs from it. You get a cool Havoc weapon skin, and you have stuff to grind for throughout the season. So it's not necessarily a bad deal. I just, I feel like it, it's not up to par with what a lot of people were expecting. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully it improves over time. Hopefully season two gets a little bit better. Like I said, the game did just come out. They weren't ready for all this traffic, all this hype, all that kind of stuff. We'll cut some gameplay here so you guys have something to watch. But yeah, it's just like, it's a new game. It's a fresh game. They're gonna, they're gonna feel things out. And we'll have to see what happens. Obviously not everything can come out of the gate matching up with Fortnite, which is obviously one of their biggest competitors. I just, I would have liked to see a little bit more creativity out of it. I would have liked to see some more unique weapon skins and character kind of like, you know, models like we talked about before with some of the ideas I had. Even if we, you know, added in things like, you know, contrails or or custom death boxes, more eliminations. Like the, the, the eliminations are so much fun in this game. If we could have gotten some more legendary eliminations that we can equip to our characters to do different things, that could have been cool. Crafting materials or metals or whatever they're called. I don't know why you don't get any crafting metals throughout the battle pass. Like the battle pass isn't that exciting. At least give us some crafting metals so we can unlock the legendary skins that we want. I don't know. I, I feel like it could have done better, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I can't lie. I've really enjoyed Apex. I, I'm definitely happy to support them for $10 on this first battle pass, but I'm just hoping that they kind of see where they were a little bit light in this battle pass. I'm hoping they improve it for the next season, and uh, otherwise, I'm a little bit worried that people are going to get bored. I mean, when you think back to some of the first battle passes of Fortnite, 
Think about the, the Black Knight skins. Think about the John Wick skins. Like those became legends. That was a, a whole meme within itself that everybody always got excited about. And it was like this cool thing that if you if you had that from a previous season, it really stood out and made you feel special. It gave you something to grind for. We don't really have that in Apex with this first battle pass. And uh, I just, I hope that gets better because if, if people aren't being rewarded properly, if people don't feel like the time that they're putting in is worth that grind, people are gonna stop playing the game. And I would hate to see that happen because it truly is a great game, but you need that reward structure there. And as of this battle pass, it's really not. Like, think about it. For, for people that can't just go out and buy the whole pass like I just did, for the next three months of season one, you have to look forward to earning those skins that aren't so great, 12 Apex packs, and a Havoc skin that nobody even really uses. Nobody really likes that gun. So like, is that worth three months of grinding? I, I don't know. That That's what I'm worried about. I don't want to see people leaving this game in droves. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, we're going to play with some Octane later on today, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video and uh, drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Peace out.